Okay, artists, grab your printed template of the Zilige tile that I drew out for you guys, and we are going to start to add more patterns and colors. So you're going to need a pencil, chalk, water, paper towel, and some paint brushes. And if you have some watercolors already, you could use that instead of the chalk. So let's get started. Now with your pencil, we are going to go ahead and sketch out some of these patterns. Now I'm doing it very lightly, so it's going to be kind of hard to see, but if you look in the photo up above, you can see the pattern a bit more clearly when it's colored in. And you don't have to do the exact pattern I'm doing, just remember um, if you do do a different pattern, just make sure you repeat it. And so I'm going inside of these kind of T-shaped sections and I'm going to have some greenery and then I'm drawing out a little bird in the center. So if you want to do some greenery and then maybe a different animal in the center, that would be really cool. And you're going to do that in every T-shape area. So now I'm going to go ahead in the upper one and I'm going to repeat that pattern. So again, doing some of that greenery, just kind of wiggly lines from a point and then they're kind of going outward. And then I'm going to draw a very simple little bird, so a curve for the head and then a little swoop for the back of the head and neck area. Then I'm going to do a triangle for the wing and then another kind of triangle and then a round belly and then you can put the beak on which is just a tiny triangle. And then feel free to pause this video as I'm drawing. And you can see I did a artichoke in the center. Artichokes are one of my favorite vegetables. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to draw an artichoke in the center. Now if you have a favorite vegetable, so maybe you like carrots or maybe you like broccoli, you can go ahead and look at those and draw that vegetable in the center. So that's going to be our focal point. Now the artichoke has a nice um, sturdy stem and then there's these really large narrow leaves that come out from the stem and then the artichoke sits on top almost like a flower. So I'm just doing some dashes for how big I want the head of the artichoke to be and then I'm going to go in and I'm going to start to make these almost scale shapes. So you're going to kind of do a curve like a half circle that's a little wavy and then they're going to kind of tuck into each other as you're going up the side of the artichoke. And they can be varying sizes, usually they're kind of larger at the base and then they get smaller and smaller as they get to the top. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab some sidewalk chalk. So I have a packet here that I'm going to use. Now if you don't have sidewalk chalk and if you have possibly some watercolors, you can use those instead. Or if you don't have any of those, go ahead and grab some crayons or some colored pencils. Anything will do. We just need some color. 
So just a really light touch is all you need. And I'm filling in all the greenery areas inside of those T-shapes. And I'm also going to fill in the leaves and a little bit of the stem of the artichoke. So now we're going to go ahead and I'm going to get a little bit more color down. So I'm grabbing this really nice kind of peachy orange color and I'm outlining the shape the artichoke is sitting inside of. You can see already it's really starting to come alive. Now I'm going to go ahead and grab a paintbrush, get a little water on it, and I'm just going to carefully go in and brush the green sections on this drawing. Now just make sure you're really careful when you're painting with the water because you're going to notice your paper is going to absorb the water and it's going to become very fragile. So just make sure you're barely touching your brush on the surface of the paper and let it completely dry before you try and draw or add more color on top of those white sections because otherwise you're going to tear it and you're going to have a hole in your drawing. So now I'm just kind of washing my brush out and now I'm going to go over those nice orange sections. You can see how the sidewalk chalk literally kind of melts and turns into paint. And it looks just like watercolor. Look at how cool this is. It's really turning out nicely with the water and the chalk. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to grab some blue. So I'm actually going to fill in around the greenery in these T sections. And again, just a light pressure. Now you can really start to see the design and you're getting some really nice contrast. So let's get our brush and we're going to add a little water and now we're going to kind of paint with this chalk. And it's okay if the blue goes a little bit into the foliage. That's alright if it starts to overlap a little bit. Just take your time. There's no rush here. And make sure, again, pause the video 
when you're getting to each step and then you can hit play and continue onward. Look at see how it's starting to really fill in that area so just a little chalk goes a long way. Now I'm going to grab some yellow I decided on and I'm just going to take this yellow and fill in the shape that the artichoke is in and then the two other shapes that are above and below and on the right and left side. Okay, and I'm just going to take my brush and kind of push that yellow around so that way it's a nice even coating of a background color. And you don't need too much water on your brush, just a little bit. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to fill in my little birds with some yellow. Now this is our kind of base layers that we've put in. We've kind of blocked everything out and it's looking really, really nicely. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take a break and in the next video we are going to add some contrast. We're going to add some light source and we're really going to make this artichoke and everything pop out at us. So nice work you guys on this video. Take a break and then watch the next video.